Hey family, thank you for joining us on the 5x5x5 five by five by five Bible journey. We just finished week one, Acts chapters 10 through 14. Congratulations, you did it. And there's a lot to discuss in these chapters. Obviously, I can't discuss it all. But one of the things that stood out to me was how the early church fathers and leaders weren't led by their own great desires. They weren't led by their own emotions, but they were led by the very spirit and the very word of God. We see in Acts chapter 11, verse 16, Peter says this. He says, I remember the word of the Lord and how he said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. It was this very word of God that changed Peter's perspective on preaching the gospel to the Gentiles. It was this very word of God that broke through his own cultural barriers. So listen, it wasn't the culture that led Peter. It wasn't his emotions that he was driven by, but it was the very word of God that led him. It was the very word of God that he obeyed. So Peter demonstrates for us how important it is for us as believers to listen to the word of God, to remember the word of God, and to obey the word of God. So here are a few questions I have for you today. How do we as believers know what the will of God is for our life? How do we know what's the right next step for us to take in our life? How do we know if God's moving in a certain area of our life? Here's the short answer and we see it in Acts chapter 11 verse 16. Remember the word of the Lord and obey the word of the Lord. Now the challenge for us is are we listening? Are we obeying? Something to ponder, something to think about. Take some time this week to think about these questions. Maybe reread Acts chapters 10 through 14. Talk with someone about it or even respond to this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us on the journey. I'll see you next week.